Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction thriller film, AI Amok. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. In 2023, a prolific scientist, Kosuke, has finally developed an advanced AI system that has the capacity to diagnose and treat medical conditions, even the incurable ones. He developed the AI so he could treat his terminally ill wife, who has cancer. However, he needs the permission of the government to use it legally. He then lets his brother-in-law, short-named brother, seek approval for it. Unfortunately, brother rushes back with bad news as he comes back with a paper, indicating that the Ministry of Health denied their request to use the system because there is still no law that covers it. Sometime after, Kosuke, his wife, and their daughter are on the beach with brother. His wife is in the final stage of cancer and immediately needs the cure. Brother then insists on using the AI system, but even in times of desperation, the couple decides to do the rightful thing by refusing to use the AI system illegally. After that, the family takes a picture on the beach. A few days later, Kosuke's wife is on her deathbed. In her last moments, she wishes that Kosuke's AI system will one day be recognized by saving lives through curing medical conditions. Just then, his wife takes her last breath and dies. Kosuke and his relatives hold a funeral ceremony for his wife. In 2024, the AI system now called HOPE is finally approved by the government and Kosuke makes it available in public to help save lives. In 2025, HOPE becomes more successful and is now managed by a company led by brother. After fulfilling his wife's dying wish, Kosuke decides to leave the country with his daughter to live a peaceful life in Singapore. In the following years, technology has been developed to accompany HOPE, making it more accessible to the general public. In particular, a watch has been distributed, which scans the body condition of humans, helping them manage their health. HOPE also increases its scope and now helps humans in different aspects of their lives, such as transportation, security, and household chores. The general population then starts using it to make their lives easier. The help of the HOPE AI system to humanity makes people thankful for it. However, there are still others who oppose its establishment in fear that it would lead to massive unemployment. In 2030, Kosuke is enjoying the sunny beach in Singapore, when brother invites him back to receive the award from the Prime Minister for his invention. He is reluctant to go back to Japan, but the daughter insists on coming back, as she wants to see his father's invention. Kosuke then agrees, and they fly back to Japan together. As they arrive there, they proceed to visit the Hope headquarters, where protesters and the media awaits them. Brother welcomes them, and introduces them to the central server unit of the AI system. The server unit is heavily secured in order to avoid terrorist attacks. The central server gathers every user's information, and after learning about it, the server sends it to the medical practitioners. As they walk near the server, the server camera appears and recognizes Kosuke and his daughter. After that, Kosuke attends a welcome media conference held for him. In his speech, a group of protesters interrupts him, so the police immediately control the situation. An AI developer nicknamed Director, who works for the police department, gives his calling card to Kosuke. Apparently, Director developed a surveillance AI system for the police, and he wants to utilize hope to get data from the people. Brother then reveals to Kosuke that Director keeps bothering him to cooperate with them, but Brother refuses his request. After that, a journalist hands over a calling card to Kosuke, hoping to have an interview with him. When they are about to leave, the daughter notices that her mother's photo is missing, so she rushes inside the server to find it. Meanwhile, the awarding ceremony is about to start, so Kosuke heads to the ceremony first. Suddenly, hope starts to malfunction, causing chaos to the medical facilities depending on it. The patients are at risk of dying, and the medical workers are in a panic. Meanwhile, in the awarding ceremony, the Prime Minister gets a heart attack, as her heart is depending on the HOPE device. The rescuers try to save her, but she still dies. The cars that use HOPE also malfunction, causing massive traffic jams along the highways. Kosuke's car is also trapped in the midst of the traffic. The HOPE headquarters alert system activates, informing brother and the engineers about the malfunction. So they try to figure out the problem quickly. Meanwhile, the server security activates, trapping the daughter alone inside the server. She's at risk of freezing to death inside due to the server's cooling system. Kosuke must act in time to save his daughter. Upon learning about the malfunction, Kosuke calls brother and gets worried as he sees the daughter trapped inside the server. After searching, the system detects a malicious program uploading data to Hope. So director's men intervene and trace the location where it is coming from. As they find the location, a fly drone follows the system, leading it to Kosuke, who just found a strange tablet in his bag. Kosuke figures out that the tablet is uploading the malicious program, which allows Hope to self-learn, and now Kosuke knows he is being framed. But the drone's system already recognizes him as a terrorist, so the AI police arrive in haste to arrest him. 
Suddenly, a car accident happens in front of them, which distracts the police, allowing Kosuke to run away. In response, Director heads to the police headquarters to trace his location. At the same time, the media also broadcasts the Hope malfunction and blames Kosuke for it. Director and his team arrive at the police headquarters. They activate the advanced surveillance system for the first time so as to trace Kosuke's location. A veteran detective and his partner also arrive to help Director's team. The surveillance disturbs the detective a lot as he believes that it violates people's privacy by using their personal devices to fulfill their surveillance purposes. Meanwhile, Kosuke notices that wherever he goes, the police are able to follow him. He then figures out that they are using the cameras around to trace him, so he tries to hide from the cameras. Along the way, he grabs a tablet from the street. He then runs to the sewer, where there are no cameras to avoid being traced. But the police surveillance AI traces his location through the tablet, so the police still know his location. In the sewer, Kosuke calls brother, and the police are able to listen to their conversation. Kosuke informs brother that the hope is programmed to strictly follow humans and respect human lives. But there is someone who removes these rules, and now hope is deciding on its own. This is why even they turn off the power supply, hope can still utilize its own emergency power to continue working. Without human control, hope then has the tendency to manipulate people's lives and massacre humans, as the general population's health depends upon it. Now the only solution is to write another program to wipe out the current malicious codes, which however would take days to finish. So brother suggests for Kosuke to surrender to the police, but Kosuke refuses as the police already recognized him as a terrorist. After that, Kosuke instructs brother to meet him in the spiral house, a secret term for their old research lab. Kosuke then breaks the tablet, making the police lose track of him. So he manages to escape this time. In order to reach the spiral house in the other city, he sneaks inside a shipping truck, carried by a ship heading to the other city. Brother also leaves the headquarters to follow him, but director takes notice of it. Meanwhile, Detective and his partner, who believes that Kosuke is innocent, decide to do their own investigation. Detective figures out that Kosuke must be heading to their former research lab, since he cannot go back to their current headquarters. Detective then rides the ship heading to that city, thinking that Kosuke must be there, since the ship has less technology to trace Kosuke. Later on at the police headquarters, someone reports to Director that Kosuke snatched a device from someone. The police then immediately get the device's information. So when Kosuke opens up the device to begin writing the program, the police are able to figure out that he is on the ship. The police then report Kosuke to the ship's captain. The ship workers and detectives search through the ship, and they eventually find Kosuke hiding in the truck. Kosuke quickly runs away to the top deck, but a police helicopter awaits him there. As detective persuades him into surrendering, the police and the helicopter shoot at him. Fortunately, the bullet misses, and Kosuke jumps to the sea to save his shitty life. Soon after, Kosuke wakes up, and it turns out that he gets saved by a fisherman who is thankful for him since his creation saved the life of the fisherman's wife. The fisherman lets him borrow a van, so he can travel to the old research lab. After some time, Detective and his partner arrive on the shore and quickly drive to the research lab. Also, with the help of quick calculation, the police surveillance AI determines Kosuke is heading there. Kosuke arrives in the spiral house and begins writing the program. Apparently, Hope's prototype model is stored there, so he can use it to significantly speed up writing the program. Brother arrives, bringing him the necessary devices for writing a program. Kosuke then uses the device to figure out who implanted the malware physically in the server, since it is impossible to hack into its software. As he opens up Hope, Kosuke sees that Hope has learned how to screen and evaluate humans' value through their medical, financial, and social aspects. After the screening, Hope schedules in six hours that those people who are recognized as worthless will be killed by their Hope devices. Kosuke then realizes that he needs to write the program and bring it physically to the main server within six hours before the purge plan gets executed. Meanwhile, Brother checks the device and sees the time when the malware is implanted. He then plays the footage. To their surprise, he was the one who inserted the gadget into the server, which implants the malware to Hope as a result. But Brother insists that he never attempts to do that. As Kosuke is confronting him, the police arrive at the scene, so they immediately hide. Detective and his partner also arrive, but the police refuse to allow them to enter the area. When Kosuke notices that the program is already done processing, the police shoot at him. Brother immediately jumps to save him, so Brother gets shot instead. After that, Brother is determined to sacrifice himself in order for Kosuke to save the Hope AI system and his daughter. Brother then courageously takes the program device and throws it to Kosuke. As a result, the police fatally shoot him, while Kosuke is able to run outside. Upon noticing that a vehicle is leaving the area, the police immediately ride their car to chase it, thinking that Kosuke is driving it. After a long and furious chase, the vehicle falls off the cliff and eventually explodes. The police then search for Kosuke's body, 
but it is nowhere to be found. The following day, the police surveillance AI figures out that the vehicle is self-driving, so Kosuke was not in the vehicle all along. So, the surveillance AI begins searching for Kosuke's location. After a few moments, the surveillance AI locates Kosuke once again, and the police immediately respond. But upon their arrival, the person targeted by the AI is not Kosuke. After that, the surveillance AI detects several more Kosuke, but it all turns out to be a false alarm. Director then learns that Kosuke hacked into the police surveillance system, using his calling card given to Kosuke earlier. But Director knows that Kosuke must be heading back to the Hope headquarters to fix the server. So when Kosuke soon arrives at the Hope headquarters, Director and the police are already there to arrest him. But Kosuke plays the evidence, to prove himself innocent from causing the Hope malfunctions, which put its user in danger. The evidence is a footage showing Director's reflection when Brother puts the malware device on the server. It turns out Director tricked Brother into thinking that Hope was probably infected by malware. So, Brother puts the malware device to the server given by Director, thinking that it will protect Hope. Although Director is proven to be guilty and admits to causing the malware, the police refuse to arrest him. Director then reveals his intentions behind putting the malware in Hope. Apparently, he deliberately let Hope eradicate the weaker and unproductive population, believing that the Purge plan would create a better and robust society. What's more, he intentionally killed the Prime Minister through the Hope system, because she's the one who strongly opposed the use of an intensive surveillance system over the public. Suddenly, Director notices that a drone is recording everything he says. Unknown to him, the drone's footage is broadcasted throughout the country, and the population is able to hear Director's evil plan, causing the evil Director to be arrested finally by the coming detective. Meanwhile, Kosuke immediately heads to the server where his daughter is trapped. There are only five minutes left, so he must put the program that will fix Hope in time. Kosuke arrives near the server, and they use a projector to make the server physically read the solution program. Apparently, the program Kosuke wrote aims to remind Hope of the reason for its creation, that it is to save human lives rather than execute the purge plan. Kosuke then instructs his daughter to reflect the projector to the server's camera. However, the daughter passes out from the cold before the server can read the program. Fortunately, the server is still able to read Kosuke's family photo behind the daughter's mirror. The Kosuke family then reminds Hope of its main purpose, causing it to remove the malware and restarts itself, which stops the scheduled purge plan eventually. As Hope starts again, it shows the faces of happy people such as Kosuke and his family, who built Hope. After that, Hope opens the server door, allowing Kosuke to finally save his daughter. In the end, Director and his collaborators are convicted for their crimes. Even though Director is already in prison, he declares that AI will inevitably take over the world, since it continues to evolve as time goes by. Meanwhile, Kosuke and his daughter visit the late wife in the cemetery, where the family gets a sentimental reunion. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.